gang, Steve and Becca here. We're speaking to you from our front room again. Because we can't go anywhere else. Well, we can. We can go, we can go in the back room. We're going to bring you some <laughs> of the different things we usually would, including our new friend Disco Dave with all his super cool moves. Get your fit and healthy. Mad Dog and the Sheriff are back too in our pantomime. The good, the bad and no granny uh, due to the current measures. All week we're looking at how we can be an unleashed church by looking at the very first church that started. It was just after Jesus died, rose again and then left his friends with a promise that he would send a helper. We'll have some of my amazing facts, which we know you love. Um, Becca's insight and understanding, which is pretty cool as well. And some questions for you to talk about after we're done. It should be a whole lot of fun. So darling, please, what is the theme for today? Well, oh, you're really close today. Uh, the theme for today is Unleashed Presence, how God is always with us, ready to rescue. OK, before we tell us more about that, let's get ourselves warmed up with Disco Dave. On your feet, everyone. Let's go. Just copy what Disco Dave does. <laughs> Brilliant. Hope you're sweaty now. <laughs> Sit down, relax, wipe your brows as we delve deeper into today's Bible passage taken from Acts chapter 4. But before we do, Becca, where does this story fit in the bigger story of God? Well, those enemies of Jesus had really had enough of his followers telling everyone about him. So today's story tells us what happened when those enemies finally caught up with the disciples. And we find it in Acts chapter 5, verse 17 to 21. Here we go. The high priest and all his companions, members of the local party of the Sadducees, became extremely jealous of the apostles and decided to take action. They arrested the apostles and put them in the public jail. But that night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison gates, led the apostles out and said to them, go and stand in the temple and tell the people all about this new life. The apostles obeyed and at dawn they entered the temple and started teaching. So here's something to think about. The apostles are another name for the disciples. They were still in danger and got arrested again. This time they got put in prison. It must have felt a bit like their plan was spoiled, but God knew better. His plan to rescue the world was not going to be stopped by some jealous men. So he sent an angel to open the door. Incredible! The apostles weren't put off talking about Jesus. They went right back to telling everyone about it. There are times when our plans seem to have hit a dead end and we can't see how it can be fixed. But if we're following Jesus and his plans, then we can know that just like in this story, God has a way through. He always does. 
even in the middle of where we are at the moment and this crazy virus. You see, all the best stories have a narrow escape. Think about it. Simba in The Lion King, Nemo, The Kids in Despicable Me. They're all great stories, but God's story is full of excitement and great escapes too. You see, he's the true hero who rescues his people time and time again, even you and me. Well said, darling. Time for the panto. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this changes scenes completely, but here we go. We know you love it, you tell us about it. Our all age panto, the good, the bad, and no grey. Well, hi there, boys and girls. Sheriff again, and how are we doing on this fine day? Ain't it a beautiful day? And the sun is shining. Wow, that was fantastic. Well, today, do you know what happened? My deputy, he has arrested Mad Dog. You know that little old bank robbery you heard about yesterday? Well, apparently my deputy thinks it could well have been Mad Dog and his good for nothing friends. So, Mad Dog is in the jail. So I gotta go check me the evidence. I'll be back in a minute. Well, I always knew I'd end up in jail. Oh, I tell you, I don't even know, you know what I've done except stomp on some gophers. Well, I can't believe the sheriff's deputy slung me in this jail here. Well, I tell you, get off your horse and wash your hands. So here we are, mad dog. Apparently, you've been set free from jail because you didn't do it. Turns out, Grandma was looking out of her window at the very time of the bank robbery and she saw you stomping on gophers. So you see, <laughs> you couldn't have done it. That's right, and that's what I try to tell y'all, isn't it? I told you I didn't do it. Well, ha, I'm just glad to be out. Well, because you are so mad and so bad, of course, everybody thought it was you, Mad Dog. <laughs> anyway, you're glad you're out. You could have been in there for years. <laughs> Not much chance. I would have got me a stick of dynamite. I would have blown myself out of there. And I would have been out stomping on gophers before you had time to say, uh, don't step on no gophers. That ain't true, Mad Dog, because this here jail is a strong fort. The bars go right down six feet into the floor. The walls are ten feet thick. There's no way you could have broken out of here unless uh, you've been let out. I'm pretty sure I could have got out. Oh, no, he couldn't. Oh, yes, I could. Oh, no, he oh, couldn't. Oh, yes, I could. Well, there's only one way to sort this out. Shoot out. Shoot out. <laughs> Thanks guys, we'll see more from Mad Dog and the Sheriff as the week goes on. But I hope you're ready for Steve's interesting fact. Now darling, you'll mm -hmm. be interested in this. We're all used to seeing Superman's good looks and his dark hair, but originally Superman was supposed to be a character with not much hair, who was obsessed with dominating the world. He was also a vegetarian. That seems bonkers. Well, that's the vegetarian, but the dominating the world. I tell you what, let's leave Superman. Why don't you bring us back and help us talk to God? Okay, guys, let's pray together, shall we? Mm -hmm. Father God, you are my hero. Thank you that even when everything seems impossible, you're always with me and still have a way. Help me to remember that when times are hard and to trust you to know the way out. Amen. Amen. Now, something to think about and to talk together about before you finish. If you could be a superhero... Who would you be? That's a good question. And what's your favourite adventure story? And then this is a bit of an odd one, but if you were designing a superhero costume for God, what would it look like? Perhaps you could draw a picture of it. That's a good one. I'll have a go at that. We're really looking forward to seeing you again next time. But to play us out, do sing along with this fab song from our great friends at Same Boat Music. Take care. Bye-bye.